What's up, everybody? It's B-Show Brian. I had to do this. Um, I recorded the Rob Zombie's Monsters trailer, and I did a pretty skewering review of it. I was not a fan. Um, and then I was watching Shaheen from, from Planet Mondo and, and, and Break the Apocalypse do his, and he mentioned maybe this will look a little bit better in black and white, so I wanted to do that. It's going to be very short. Since they did release a black and white version, I figured we'd check it out. So here is the Munsters black and white version of the trailer. Hopefully it doesn't look so cheap this time around. Rob Zombie, the director of House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween, and the Devil's All right. Rejects bring you the greatest love story. I got a copyright strike on the Halloween one, so I'm oh, I, reversing. I don't like the sound of that. Because brain of a super genius trans that actually doesn't look too bad <laughs> actually looks pretty damn good <laughs> I'm not gonna lie a man that every time he enters my crypt it's like a stick through my dead black heart still not a fan of the acting grandpa's all right that looks a hell of a lot better Okay. Looking for a vision, a queen, a true love. And what exactly do you want? Like I like the color palette of the original, and the color choices and things like that. But the set design looked really cheap. I knew the moment Black and white, you can't tell. I understand if you don't feel the same. And now they don't look like Instagram models. Holy shit! A boring, normal life. If there's one thing I know. Is that the rest of the world knows for the way. Still not a fan of Lily and Herman, but but this does look a hell of a lot better. Truly love the spot. Come on, you know and I know that we gotta get rid of that bozo Herman Munster. If there's an executive producer who has any sort of pull, you gotta fight Rob Zombie and it's you gotta tell him it's in black and white. Yeah, alright, well we know what the rest is. We saw this. It's Sherry Moon doing her dancing. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it looks a lot better. Greetings from Transylvania. <laughs> That's a strange way of saying hello. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get used to it. Yeah, she's still really annoying, but um. All right, man. Hey, I'll be honest. I like that a hell of a lot better than the regular version, even though I like the the color palette and the lighting choices and stuff like that. I'll tell you what. I'll give it a shot. I was really harsh on the original trailer. It doesn't look nearly as bad watching black and white. Um, I don't know. Not not too bad. Not too bad. A lot better than the first time around, I will say that. And, it, you know, that worked with Clerks. You know, Kevin Smith financed that with a small – a few small family loans and some some racked up credit card debt and they were, hid some of the cheapness of it by using black and white film so shit man that it's interesting how one or two choices goes a long way so like i said if, if there's an executive producer who has some stroke you gotta urge rob zombie to get, roll with the black and white and then release the color on like a, a special features or something but all right that's it i'm out of here for now um Wanted to put that up to be fair and balanced, as the the goons at Fox News try to say. My name is B Show Brian. Tell me what you thought. Do you think it makes a big difference or not? Is the movie good? The movie look bad? Let me know what you think. I'm out of here. Um, until next time. Peace.